Now to a developing story out of Fort Bend County. A family tragedy in Siena Plantation. A mother and her son hit by an SUV. The mother died. Little boy badly injured. The woman was walking her six-year-old to school this morning when they were struck on Siena Ranch at Nueces Creek. That's where our Anusha Rasta joins us live tonight. Anusha, we've heard from viewers that this is a busy street there. Was there a crossing guard on duty? Bill, we did see a crossing guard in the area earlier today, but not here exactly. Instead, there is a growing memorial as folks continue to stop by and drop flowers off here. Schiff Elementary School is about a 10 minute walk from Siena Ranch at Nueces Creek. You can blink your eye and you're through the school zones. People who live here will most likely tell you there's a lot of traffic in the morning and a lot of people walking to school. This street is always busy. 37 year old mother Lisa Smith was walking her six year old son to school this morning just as a grandmother was driving back home from there. In this exclusive home surveillance video obtained by Channel 2 News, you can see the SUV approaching two people crossing the street seconds before they are hit. She was actually coming back um, because she takes grandchildren to school. So she uses this road almost every day. Paramedics took both Lisa Smith and her son to the hospital. Lisa passed away there, but her son is still recovering. Residents came by to leave flowers and balloons at a makeshift memorial. Several folks telling Channel 2 News there are not enough school zone signs here or street lighting at night. If you try to find anybody at you know the HOA office to you know, address these situations, they give you the runaround and they pass the buck. We contacted the Siena Plantation Homeowners Association about this, and in a statement they said in part, quote, since these streets are public, owned and maintained by Fort Bend County, the request for additional street signs would go to Fort Bend County, and requests for more street lights involve multiple parties. Requests for an additional street light would go to Centerpoint. Missouri City and or Fort Bend County for approval. And the Fort Bend County Sheriff's Office tells me they have not received a single complaint about street lights or signs. The Homeowners Association says they can help folks who want to file a formal complaint. Reporting live in Missouri City, Anusha Rasta, KPRC, Channel 2 News.